I wanted to ask you as well about your experience going on Sean's show and what that was like meeting the now late wild man, Peter Mahoney. Yeah, which he's is a such big a shame man. to hear about that. Well, do you know, it was it was wild man's idea because um, he contacted, well, it was on YouTube, in the, you know, I'd done the Paper Blackie song and I got a lot of comments and I remember reading him on Wild Love You on my podcast and I seen Sean Howard and I clicked on his thing and I thought, wow, you know, he's got David Icke on and he's got really yeah. big dudes. And I thought, who the fuck? Who am I? <laughs> Who is he? Who's he? And, you know, luckily I, I contacted him and, well, I said, it's well, man, eh? You know, he said, he sent me a message saying, come on, come on, I'll show you. Really, really, I, I really think you'd be great in there. Yeah. Do you know what? I took him. But before that, with that song, right, I just want to say to you, um, with the Purple Aki one, um, I was actually asked to go on the BBC. You know, the, to do that song. To do the, when he done the, the actual documentary about him. Oh, I didn't know he did that. Right? And he done okay. a documentary. It's on a doc. It's a BBC documentary, and uh, they asked me to do it, and I thought, you know what, I, I really don't because um, on the BBC, you know, what's going on with it, all the controversy with that Jimmy Savile and all what's going yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah. Open your eyes, you know, and I, I, and also it's just the fact that I thought I didn't really want to. It was a joke in the garden, you know, and I did And then going on the BBC, I, I'd probably get a witch on some plus, you know, yeah. ah, he's not that soft, he probably won't assume me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you said he's a, quite a big guy as well in real life. <laughs> well, he is, he's nearly seven foot, he's like a Tyson Fury. <laughs> That'd be a strain, oh. wouldn't it? <laughs> it cracked me up yeah. in the, the part of your song where you said, oh, if he gets the wind, I'm taking the piss. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it's it, I mean, it is. Oh. Luckily, do you know what? I built a relationship with the... Uh, I, I can wall and be here. I, I built a relationship where he knew me, he knew off me. Like, I just want to make good of things and good to yeah. laugh. You know, I'm a joker, you know, I, I do like taking the piss and, yeah. and also I, people can take the piss out of me, you know, to an extent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking, what do you mean? He's a fucking nonsense. <laughs> you know, like, get wound up by some people and you think they throw all sorts. Of you. Yeah. But, you know, it's a, it's a good nature thing. Oh, fucking hell, you know, fair play. And I, th- I think you said on, uh, on that show that, you know, he, he heard you singing it, maybe. Yeah, but that's... He came into your cell and yeah, said, like, enough for this now. <laughs> well, he lived next door. I mean, I, I actually, if you don't, if you haven't seen the uh, the Sean Atwood podcast or the Billy Moore, I actually lived next door to uh, Purple Aki, you know, in, yeah, yeah. in, in jail, yeah. which was mad, you know, because I was in, I didn't know that he was next door because I was already on A-Wing and I was on the, the cleaners, on the, it's on the basement where... You walk in, it's pretty, you know, it's a good, good little job if you, if you be a good boy and you do your things to stay off whatever. And, you, you know, you can, you can get, a, get yourself like in the clean and then you go to the gym. It's all about getting the gym a day, isn't it? Yeah. Going to the gym a day and getting about and getting out and talking to people and having a laugh and keeping things moving, you know, and that's one thing the cleaners used to do. Um, you know, people, I'd, I'd, I'd clean shite yeah. all day. All right, Sarge. And, you know, I woke up one morning and the fucking, I come out of my cell waiting for to go for your water. Cause you don't have any kettles in there. You just to go and get some hot water. If it was hot, by the way, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was run out. You get all the way there as you come out. Little drop. No! Yeah. So you're eating out of your, you know, the, the, the can water then. <laughs> it's on the top of a bit of coffee. Oh, Better than the bog oh. waters, so, but you know. But anyway, so Purple Aki then to, uh, come out. I was just like, fuck, you know. And I just knew who he was anyway, you know, because it's I, I'd seen him before with our kid years ago, and uh, I just I just knew, and I was like, and he's just dead like polite. Do you fancy coffee? You know, like just dead like, all right, what are you in for? You know, I was like, oh, <laughs> fighting, and you know, fucking hell, and in my head thinking, what the fuck am I doing? Don't get to know him. <laughs> yeah. Stay strong. Tell him to fuck off. No, no. Oh, eh, and inside, not ever seen me. It's there crazy. <laughs> we have. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, how many sugars you want? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, 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 thanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Do you the gym? I thought, where we go? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Ba, da, da, ba, ba, ba. <laughs> there we go. This is his, uh, his pitch, you know, where yeah. oh, fucking hell, he's going to be squatting on me shortly, you know. <laughs> no! <laughs> and all of a sudden, you know, but I was trying to say, yeah, I was in the army, you know, done there, 14 years in the Kings on a bit of boxing and thinking, fuck, yeah, I don't know where my note are. No, <laughs> it's yeah, to be like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, well, go and get you some milk powder, you know, get the fuck out the pad like that. <laughs> and luckily for me, you know, it sounds nuts, but luckily, uh, 
Well, I had a freaking big pad mate on my shelf. Right. The bomber Richie Graham, yeah, from Sheikham. <laughs> he's right. just, he just doesn't, nothing really to say. He just walked in the pad, like, and, and me and him used to buzz off each other because we used to have fart wars. I remember saying that with Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just walked in, like, and he's always got to eat. One thing with Richie, he's, just, he's obsessed with food. He just have like cereal, always have cereal, always munching. It's like grazing. It's like you're fucking grazing <laughs> again, like. And he's he's about six foot seven and eight anyway, like you know. And he's gonna be honest with you, like we just first thing he said, I can't believe I got a celebrity next door yeah, to us. Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, you know. Wow. Ah, oh, it was funny, Richie. And we, had, we do you know what though? We, we we just got to know him, and we cut the shit with them. You know, it's like all right, sir, you know, blah blah. But what does our head is that we didn't realize that his job. As I said to Sean, he was the cleaner. You know, wow. He was cleaning the showers while people were getting showers. Oof. That's if they did want to get a shower. I'm just going for a shower. You see him? They see him like that <laughs> with the mop, like, you know, waiting. No. Oh, fucking <laughs> hell. She used to go in there, didn't you? And he, he was showering like that, whatever. And like, oh. You know, you're vulnerable. That's where you're most vulnerable, aren't you? You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You think about it, you know, the old saying, passes a soap there, lad. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's sometimes I'm embarrassing. You know, and yeah. then he'd get a shower, then, you know, he, oh dear, I can at least, you're stripping off, you're getting in the shower, and he's like, <laughs> hey, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, you know, like that. Just quickly get the soap and, uh, and you know, you just get on with it, you know. And then, yeah. and then but luckily, you just like, look, I'm fucking, you know, I'm, I'm a father, you know, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, the man shoulder thing, you know, blah, blah. But I thought, you know, Christ. So you never had any bother with him, No, we, I, I really, really got on with him in, in a mad way, you know, to say, Sam, like, leave off of me, you know. I, I, the thing with awards, you know, people think whatever, you know, you, you do your best to fucking if you, to try and thing. But if he did, if he did anything, then you had to do something, you know. I'd have to find some means or ways of fucking getting them back or attacking them or doing. Yeah. Or I've got, you know, there's lads that I know. I come from a fucking good background. The Kingos, you know, there's like a thousand fucking Kingo warriors who just fucking turn up and, hey! yeah. you know, there's a mob. You know, I, I'm proud. You know, that's what you're in and what you do. There's a lot of lads. Uh, and the respect you, that you've gained yeah, from people. Yeah, you just think, just fucking hell, you know, and, and really, you know, my good nature is like, you know, just get on with it then. You're in there, what I'm in there, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. And, you know, he did help a lot of people, you know, it sounds mad. He was law, he, he knew all the law, he knew how to fucking, you know, he got lads through cases, you know, with his Archibald law books. He, that was, he never had the telly. Glastonbury was on. We're all watching Glastonbury, I think it was on that Dell done that. Never mind, I find someone like you. <laughs> and as, as you know, the, the zoomed in is fucking, his, his Aki's fucking banner, Purple Aki banner. No way. Glastonbury. No way. And I was like, he's living next door to me. Aki, you're on the telly, <laughs> lad. You, you're in Glastonbury. All, all the knocking on the door. No Never way. mind, I find. You know, I was like, when I always remember him. Yeah, yeah. And it's, Leave it out, Jeff. Leave it out, quiet, Jeff. <laughs> I did sing the song, you know, and the thing, you in know. In front of him. Yeah, and the time, and he <laughs> fucking, he got me, though, he, he did get me, he put his fucking, he bastard, yeah. He was, I, I said, yeah, as you said, I was, with, I was up playing chess, um, it's one of the pastimes in the jail. <laughs> Spending, I've always met with a fella called Jed Bailey. Jed Bailey, yeah, boss lad. Always a fucking great, like great chess player, um, and we're playing chess. And he, as I said, the, I was just talking to him, and Aki's just come in the pad from behind. It was in the, like the listening pad where you could have toasters and where people felt depressed and talk to the listeners or just get a bit of toast. Or yeah, yeah. And as I'm playing chess, yeah, I just went in with his eyes like that, and he just picked me up. He picked me up, me. You know, I mean, I'm oh. like seventeen stone. Like that. Shit. I was like that in the air going, and he's like, yeah. I'm just fucking, he just pile drive me. I got pile drive by a timber. No way. But the worst thing is, I, I had me like fucking false teeth, but I didn't have any fixidents at the time. So as I'm fucking falling, they went in my throat. Oh, shit. Fucking scary, man. I was trying to fucking fight him off with a fucking thing in my throat, my teeth. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm thinking, I'm going to yeah. have teeth. I'm going to have fucking teeth with teeds and the, the way this is going on. <laughs> I was in the end, I was like, tap it, I'll go now. Oh, Stop yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> powerful, mate, to just get you. 
Wow. So after that, everything was cool. Yeah, he just got off down. I was like, oh, yeah, f- I'm only mushing. Oh, f- yeah. All right, yeah, all right, you're the daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, because he was all like the king at the wing time, boxing. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what I'd say, like, how everything's gone viral with your songs and stuff these days. Well, do you know what? To think the positivity out of it. I mean, it sounds nuts, but it, if he did do a show, if he ever did or whatever, get a side of the story. I mean, everybody wants him. He, he can make a lot of... A lot of money, you know, from from like Sean Atwood down to the Joe Rogan and whatever, you know. Yeah. And you know, it certainly is. He's, he's got a side. I mean, he must have a good nature side. But you know, there's a lot of people saying what he's done, he's done, you know, and and what he's done, he's labelled a nonce in Liverpool and right, uh, okay. through his as not not some normal crime elements, you know, and that's the fact. Then you get tired of that line, you're fucking finished, aren't you? You know what I mean? But. Yeah. He's got it, you know, he's brave. He's just saying, I haven't done this or done that. It's up to him to defend himself, you know. It's, yeah, sure, yeah. He probably should speak out if, you know. Well, I wanted him because Wilden got on with him, didn't he? Uh, right, uh, okay. On the show, on the show, and that was when we got talking, like, yeah, beyond, yeah. beyond the thing that's... He was in, he'd done a bit of time in prison with uh, Aki, and Aki helped Wilden over some disputes oh, and stuff yeah. like that, where he stopped some bullying or whatever, which is fair enough, you know. We, and the lads who speak at that, they, they had no qualms to them, so in there, that to think, well, he's never done nothing to me in that in that of realm. Of course, that's how it is sometimes. So, so it? people just yeah. go, listen, he's done nothing to me, so I don't even want to talk bad about him. Yeah, you know, in that mad way, and I, I agree with you know that's where we're going with this conversation. We're thinking, well, he's never done nothing to me in that way, but you know what you hear, you hear anything, and that's naughty or that's mad. But let's see how it is because he's on. I got a video the other week. Uh, he's on the streets prowling again, or he's just standing there. People shouting at him. Yeah, and, and there's rockets, yeah. fireworks going off at him. Mm. <laughs> Fucking hell, you know, thinking shit. Um, yeah. Who knows why? Why was he just on the street? Was he looking? Was he lost? Was he doing whatever? You know. Yeah. If I was him, I said that, that ends up being a. You know, as I said, he's, he's got to just go and find somewhere, write a book. And I'm, and you know, there'd be a lot of things. He, he would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But would he? Yeah, yeah, it's just crazy. They probably should do. The bogeyman, you know, do. he is the proper bogeyman. And people, a lot of, unless lot of, he can't. <laughs> but I don't know. Well, you, well he's, yeah. apparently his, his, his order's been uh, lifted off. He's, his oh, right, he, he okay. used to have an, SO, an SOP order, I think it was a. So to say, so bored, you know, don't bend down. But the, yeah. the, 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 there's a, the, an, an order where he couldn't approach uh, fellas and whatever. I just said, go oh, to man. a fucking gay bar and show them. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, In a good yeah, sense, yeah. we just go and find what you want because there's a lot of lads who are that way, and that there's nothing against it. You know, this is the way of the world now, you know. If you, yeah. But he, he, he says he's not gay, you know, but, but why? You, and the, it's like the biggest cliche. Well, why are you doing. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It baffles us. It baffles. Me. <laughs> but anyway, but, fr- from that, then yeah. that's led to your song, and then that's all gone viral and stuff. And he said, "Wild man picked up on it, yeah, and then got you on the got show." Got Sean. I, well, that was, I mean, how was it meeting Sean and stuff? It was, a, it was really, really like it was a good day. I didn't know yeah. what to expect. I'd never done a podcast in my life. I was going over things in my head and what to say and what to do, and you know, and. Uh, Luckily, when I got there, I felt relaxed from Wild Man, just laughing with, with Sean. Yeah. Do you want a beer? And I was like, no. <laughs> it, was, was like, it was really relaxed. Yeah, it was good relaxed. And, and the, you know, the little studio was great. I mean, it looks great with the uh, what we've done. And yeah, yeah. we just went from there. And, you know, luckily enough, I, I felt relaxed like I am now. You just talk freely, which is brilliant, yeah. you know. Yeah, I really enjoyed hearing it. Definitely. He's doing some good stuff, Sean. Um, I know he gets a lot of stick, doesn't he, in the internet world and YouTube and stuff. But when you can look past all that, it's just he's not you, arse, you know. Do you, do you know no, what's he Sean? He's, 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 he's a man of his own thing because we went through all this with them and it, I was thinking him and Darren G, the old fell out. And then yeah. when I was going on, he said, "Oh, he's, you're gonna watch Sean." I would, when I got there, because I took a photo, like, "Yeah, I'm with Sean now." And some lad said, "Oh, have you seen that thing and thing with the with his dumb?" I was like, "I don't know what's he going on about," and I didn't yeah, see yeah. it. And I thought the lab was calling me a fucking nonsense. I was like, on how often in the street and his arms, come on, fucking sweat, and I'll fucking smack you, you <laughs> sweat. No, not you, it's yeah. about him. And, and you know what? The, fucking crazy. And I, I said, all we want to do is go on and tell me story, you know, it's yeah. a, because he's got 500,000 people out there. And at the time, you know, 
if I'm into this game, I've get myself established to making a song or creating something, then what a, what an oh, opportunity, you know, it's, it's, it's brilliant. And I, I just took it as that, you know, it's a good show. And yeah. again, he never did show him as brilliant. He was just funny laughing. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's laughing. But what, what happened was on stitches, you know, we had the laugh, you know. He first started appearing on Sean's podcast. Yeah. Of- I had that thing at first where I was like, who's this guy who keeps jumping in and, you know, wasn't kind of sure. Yeah. After a couple of shows, it grew on me that much. Yeah. And then when I heard that, it was just like, wow, shit, no way. Yeah. It's really, really sad. Because he was freaking, I know, I mean, it's, it's a warm and, you know, he was a legend around where he was, you know, he, around the rave scenes and whatever, he, he got he got everything. And as you know, when have you ever seen some of Sean's podcasts? Wow, man, in America, it was fucking wild, you know. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. He'd, he'd go into like, wild proper, woman. like <laughs> gangsters, yeah. where, you know, you're going like these top frigging, like proper, like, you know, cartel sort of people. Yeah, yeah, fearless, wasn't he? And he's just like, hey, wait, I tell you what, I'm Sort yeah. him out, and he just fucking—he was just so bold as fucking blast. <laughs> yeah. He was, but to say all the stuff they did and the stuff they got up to, when you listen to him on Sean's show, you got a sense of his moral yeah. compass, and he was—he was a good guy, wasn't he? Very he good was. guy, full of art. You know, he's he, he helped. You know, he, he'd help anybody. Which um, it's just, that's where you know. You, do you know when you come across a person that either in or out? You know, the, if you're out and you're outgoing, you want to meet people, you want to communicate, and you know. He was that, that person and, you know, the, some yeah. of the stories that I got from people that he, he done, he's, he helped a lot of lads and even his charisma, having them sitting there in the fucking, the darkest fucking depths of, of insanity and he's there by your side, especially with Sean being as like the way he is, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's spanked up and like out of his own. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck off, Billy. And then <laughs> Sean, fucking, uh, there's this fucking seven foot fella there trying to fucking, you know, yeah, polax yeah. me over something and he's like, hey, and you know, and he would, he'd go, you know, he'd have it. He'd yeah. go all the way. I'll fucking bite his cheek. I'll be like a pit bull. And, uh, uh, just like pit bull, the fucking bastard. <laughs> um, but wow, well, man. Yeah. So we went, when I got on the show, it was great. And it ran really smoothly. And we went through all the subjects of my life. And like, this yeah. is your this is your life. Right? Yeah, there's thinking, some, re- but... some really, really funny <laughs> parts that have just stuck with me, which I would, yeah. I would like you to. Just whatever you want me to do. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever yeah. you feel free. I'm at your disposal. <laughs> Oh yeah, thank you. But yeah, it's definitely very sad to hear about Wildman. Um, but he definitely lives on through the podcasts. And yeah. I'd urge people to go back and watch the one you did with Sean and Wildman, episode one three one on Sean's channel. So yeah, I know. It, it, and when it, when it hit me though, I was just like, oh well, I, I was on the last lads he interviews, and Sean did say I was the best one he had for because we really hit it off the three of us. To be honest with you, yeah, we could have talked for hours and hours, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we going on like <laughs> like, we, like we are now, and uh, it was just good to have his family around him as well, and uh, and that was the time as well. And Sean was getting loads of fucking thing, and I was getting told, "Don't be on his channel, don't be subscribing." I just couldn't find my feet or fatten things, you know, going with whatever. I mean, good said, well, listen, she wasn't underage. She was just a whatever, you know, yeah. and he's a single fella. Come on, it's just a sex act. You know how many people go out yeah. and dress up as that? But, you know, I don't know the ins and outs, what goes on, but it, yeah. they're all agely consented, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. So whatever yeah. happened in an after party, but Warman well, himself, it was his show as much as Sean's and it was him who invited me anyway. So I'd say to them, I got invited by Warman, well, you know, if Sean's this dark figure, and you know, Wildman's there, and I'll, I'll just, I'll just find out myself. Yeah. And ever since then, you know, Sean's always been polite. I can go on uh, any time with Sean. Yeah. And I thought would you do a part two? Yeah, yeah. The, the part two's there, and I think at the moment, it's just that's just yeah, right. let's just gather things as right. it, as it goes. You know, it's I just, think I heard they've got a new studio in Liverpool as well recently. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I mean, I've got Sean's number. And I mean, so now we, we always have a laugh in that, you know, and. Um, yeah. Over things. So yeah, that's just I've got to gather more like stories because you know it's just that many what's going on now. I mean the,